Imagine being a galactic ambassador and you're bringing all of these different species to the world that we live in. And we have to show them just who we are and what are the most beautiful spots on the planet. We might start with the Eiffel Tower, nice building. Maybe go to Niagara Falls, the Grand Canyon, maybe take in a football game, festival. But my guess is you wouldn't come somewhere like here. Sometimes you don't really know what is of value until you bring a guest and to see what you have. There's a lot of things on this planet that have an equated value linked to money that actually isn't equated with the true value of what it is. Have you ever spent time in an old growth forest? Have you ever walked beneath these massive trees and seen a world which probably is hidden from you for most of your life? Situated on the south of Vancouver Island near Port Renfrew is a valley, a valley called Fairy Creek. This valley, Fairy Creek, is at the center point of the last remaining old growth forests in British Columbia and perhaps the world that are quite like it. And right now, all of these people are conveying the value of this land and are hoping that you are going to start to participate, that you are going to be the one who goes, you know what, I'm going to jump in and I'm going to help out. It's up to you what you are going to do. Are you going to take the red pill or the blue pill? Are you going to jump in and help defend this forest? Or are you going to wait over there and do nothing? Think about what Sam and Frodo went through and the type of conviction and the type of commitment in order to throw the ring into Mount Doom. It was to protect that which they loved, the Shire. It was to protect the type of life that needed protected. Isn't that what's going on here now? Don't we have to be like Frodo and Sam? We all have a Shire somewhere, and right now, Fairy Creek is the Shire, and it is under attack, and it needs your help. For hundreds of years, this building has been the center point for the resource extraction of all of the value in British Columbia. Right now, they are allowing the last remaining old growth forests to be cut down. We need your creativity. We need your ability to send a message out to the world about how you feel about the old growth forest being cut down. Do you think it's a good idea? We need to reach all the people on the world who care about the old growth forest and create a national and global uprising to make sure that it stops because it is the last remaining sacred land on this world and we need to protect it this year. I know, I know, you're thinking about this guy and all of the hype about that. Where do you think oxygen comes from? Where do you think this oxygen comes from that we're breathing? Which is the most important thing in our lives right now. Oxygen, breath. You know, all this global hysteria reigns. Meanwhile, back at the farm, the last remaining old growth valley in southern Vancouver is soon to be cut. And if we don't get enough public pressure, that's what's gonna happen. The injunction has been served, which means the police can come in and take everyone away and put them in jail and the forest will be cut down. There is no defense against the injunction except you doing something that ignites the people around you into participating in this. If you're waiting for that time when the wizard comes, invites you into an adventure and says that he, he needs you to participate, well, this is that time. This is the wizard saying to you, it's time to come and protect Mother Earth. I know you may feel a little overwhelmed. You may think it's too much. But just share some videos. Educate yourself. Make some artwork. Come up to the blockades. Make a video about how you feel. Here, I'm going to give you a video right now of me giving an idea to everyone about how 
to come and create a viral video campaign. Watch this. Hi, this is Elijah, and this is just a short message to convey a situation that is happening on Vancouver Island at Ferry Creek, where an injunction has occurred, which is going to stop the protests that have been uh, happening all winter long to stop the last remaining Old World Forest Valley on Vancouver Island from being clear-cut. And I had an idea that if I sent a message to all of my friends and asked you to repeat what I've done here, make a video of your own and send it to your friends, speaking on behalf of the ancient trees, uh, perhaps we can create a viral campaign that will get hundreds of thousands of, or even millions of people stating their love for the old growth forest and their desire not to have them cut down. I mean, they did uh, a survey and I think over 90% of British Columbians want to save the old growth forest trees, but there's a momentum behind the industry happening. And it's probably in the next two or three years that the rest of the trees may be cut down or most of them. So if we don't do something now, that could be it for the next seven generations to really see and, and uh, participate with the old growth forests. So I'm hoping that you can make a video like this and send it to your friends and ask them to do the same thing. And so if, if I make this video and send it to perhaps even just 20 people, hopefully you will repeat what I'm doing and send it to your friends and this will create a viral campaign. So that's the intention here. I hope this finds you well and uh, I really hope that you will repeat what I've done here. Thank you for listening. And thank you for doing anything that you do do. So what do you think? Are you going to make a video? Hopefully you will, because it's important to speak your truth. And just imagine that if we had all these galactic ambassadors coming to this planet and we had cut down the last remaining old growth forest and we just didn't realize the value. Wouldn't that be one of the greatest losses our species could ever have? We've only got maybe two years left. Let's do something about it.